I have been using GoDaddy and I would not recommend you to use them ever. Whenever you want to go and buy domain or web hosting, GoDaddy will definitely try to lure you in on their deals. But you should not trust them at all. And I know what you're thinking. Whenever you start googling it about the reviews and how they're performing, you will come across articles that they are saying they are super super good and you should definitely go with them. Even from seemingly reputable sources like Forbes. But I will actually go and show you receipts that this is actually fake and they are doing it and promoting them just for the money. GoDaddy was founded in 1997 and is probably the most well-known company in domain registrar and web hosting space. With that being said, here is the first problem. They are spending so much money on very aggressive advertising that there is not that much money left on developing their products or giving you some actual value compared to their competitors. If we are looking at their ads, they are basically all over the internet, they are sponsoring events, peoples, sports, they have been even featured on Super Bowl. But this doesn't translate that well into those categories. What they are banking on is that you as a complete beginner will just go with them and they can mark up those prices heavily. Let's take a look at the buying process of GoDaddy domains. So here I will simply need to go and type in domain I would like to go and search. And then all I need to do is search domains. And here are the first findings we have in here. So we can see they're giving us a surprisingly good value of 19 cents and I've seen this come as low as one cent. But if we look at closer, this is only if you go and sign up for three year term. And this is nothing against GoDaddy. This is normal practice and it's done basically by every single web hosting company and domain registrar. It is just the difference into the renewal prices, which are significantly higher compared to their competitors. So let's continue. Let's say we want to make only this purchase for .com domain. So I'm going to go and add it into our cart. Okay, now since we have it into car, we can go and see view it in car and all of a sudden you can see it's much more expensive. So let's take a look at it and let's keep going and let's sign in later. So now they are trying to go and upsell us multiple things inside here. For domain protection, you don't need it. The who is privacy is included in the original price. Everything else inside here is just not worth spending money on. But if you are a complete beginner, you may be inclined to start going for this stuff because they are trying to do these scare tactics on you. They're highlighting it and doing a lot of problems in here. So I will just go and put it and view it in my cart. And this is also something that's very, very weird with this system because what is sometimes happening is that they will go and have a domain protection pre-selected for you. So if you are not conscious, you can end up paying so much more money for something so simple. There are not that big of a differences when it comes to where you buy your domain from. So you can really go with the cheap alternatives. If you want to have some very easy buying process that's significantly cheaper in terms of renewal, you can go with something like Namecheap. You will have much better experience in this. I actually went and compared all of the renewal prices to go and show you how much more you will be paying for those services. So this is going to include web hosting as well as buying the domains. And you can see this is significantly more. Also, what is important to mention is that you are missing some stuff inside here. For example, SSL certificates, they are standard inside packages of different web hosting companies and domain registrars. It's not included in here. You would need to go and pay extra money for it and it is super super expensive but you actually need it so it doesn't make sense for them not to include it in there this is just how they want to go and extract more money from you it's really like going to mcdonald's getting their burger but if you want to have meat in it you have to pay extra for it it doesn't make sense it should be essential part of their services that should be included in one price and it's not happening so then we need to go and combine all data and put it into table to make it easier for people like you to actually see that GoDaddy is not that good. I've been also playing around with their AI features, but I have to admit it's not really that good. And this is not only knocking on GoDaddy, I've seen it across a lot 
of domain providers mainly and the AI features are just not that good, they are not that responsive and they will definitely not match you with a good domain name. When it comes to web hosting, it offers you relatively good uptime and also response time, which are two most important metrics in here. The problem here is mostly the price range they are trying to put themselves in. They are really trying to ask you for a premium price for not a premium service. So if you want to have actually premium service, premium speed, quality and everything else, you can go with something like SiteGround. Yes, you will pay premium for it, but you will also get the premium service. If you are looking for something that will be dirt cheap, the cheapest option possible for you, I would actually go and suggest you to go with Namecheap for domain as well as web hosting. You will need to be a little bit more tech savvy, let's call it, to make it run, but it will be by far the cheapest option for you. But the direct competitor of GoDaddy, if you want to have everything on one place, it just works and they are not extracting money from you. You should go with something like Hostinger. They will go and provide you with way better prices and a very similar quality overall with extra content, with extra support and everything is added a little bit more in Hostinger in there. But this is why a lot of people are actually recommending GoDaddy to you. Because as people who are making those recommendations, we are putting our links into description or into blog content. But if you would go and click on it and make purchase from it, we would go and earn a specific commission for it. And since GoDaddy is having the highest commission and they're also asking the customers to pay the highest amounts, we creators will earn so much more money by promoting something like this compared to something like Hostinger. And this is why very big companies like for example Forbes, they're heavily promoting those type of web hosting providers and domain registrars because it is a very easy money grab for them. But if you want to have actually good performance, I would not suggest you to go with this that pays me the most amount of money. Go with something like Hostinger when you can save a lot more money and get even slightly better performance and slightly better experience from using it than GoDaddy. If you appreciate this honesty, I would also appreciate using my links. I will earn significantly less, but if you want to go and support me, this is the way to do it. In terms of support, it's nothing to write home about. The quality isn't at a high level at all. Once you are paying customer, you will have access to multiple features of how to go and actually contact them. But if you are not a buyer yet, you will have very limited options inside here. And the quality of the stuff is definitely nothing to write home about. Basically, the more you are spending for their services, the better quality you will get. But if you just want to have some small websites or have small amount of domains, you will not get the best support quality at all. My suggestion for you, and this belongs to every web hosting company and also domain registrar, don't try to look at support on their website. They're intentionally trying to hide it as much as possible. Just go to Google, type their name, help, and you will get best results in this way. Now let's take a look at web hosting. Once again, what I really like is how they are informing you what they are actually offering inside here, which is really nice to see it on one place. But you need to scroll lower or find it more into depth by C plans and pricing. But inside here, please take a look at the renewal prices. They are so much higher than anything else on the market for the same performance. You will be just overpaying like crazy for those services it is just not worth it as much. They're not even giving you that much money and you can see it's nothing special that you wouldn't get with anything else. It is just very basic. The AI features and building tools are also nothing to write home about. But this is not only a problem of GoDaddy, I see this problem as with every other web hosting provider as well. So if you just want to go and buy your domain, I wouldn't recommend you to go with GoDaddy. I would much more recommend you to go with Namecheap. If you want to see current deals, please feel free to use my links in the description. If you want to go with web hosting and you are willing to put a lot of work into it on your own but save money, go with Namecheap. If you are looking for something premium, you have money to spend, 
go with SignGround, it will give you the best performance. But if you are looking for something that will be much cheaper and slightly better than GoDaddy, definitely go with Hostinger. They have a lot of deals, so if you want to take advantage of it, please feel free to use my links in the descriptions. I would really appreciate it and you will help this channel.